Hello everyone, this is Reepsuyas here, here, and today we're just going to do a quick basic setup of a uh, virtual C7200 router uh, using Dynamips and Dynagen. And what I'm focusing on today is just getting that connectivity, uh, something that many people struggle with. Um, so there's a few different ways in Dynamips and Dynagen that we can do, um, but let's just get it started here, okay? Uh, right now I'm using a, a Debian-based uh, distribution. And most of the distributions actually have uh, Dynamips and Dynagen already uh, available in the stock repo. Okay, so for those who are still learning about uh, the background of this emulation, uh, Dynamips is the emulator and Dynagen is basically the front end that, uh, that controls it. But in fact, you could use Dynamips on your own. It's kind of like maybe for uh, familiar virtualization, if you know KVM or um, basically um, KVM is the uh, kernel module, and CAMU is like the client side front end for that. Okay, and there's, of course, there's even more front ends for even uh, CAMU for uh, many people who've used different uh, virtualization and HA stuff. Okay, so now that we've got it installed here, uh, the first thing that you want to do is actually have um, basically, I've already just pre populated, I made a directory here called router. I put my C7200, uh, C7200 bin in this directory here. Uh, so the first thing that you want to do is create your config for Dynagen. Okay, so you're going to do uh, VI, and you can use a text editor too, whatever you like. I just use VI, but you know, as long as you get any file in here, you're saying G edit or whatever, it's also fine. Uh, it's going to call it Areeb, uh, Dynagen .com. You can call it whatever you like. And this is just a pre-made config here. I'm just going to quickly run through it, and uh, let's just talk about what's going on here. Um, this part here in the brackets, uh, this means it's running on localhost 2000. Uh, and what that actually means is that's where Dynagen is going to be running. Okay, or sorry, Dynamips. Uh, so Dynamips is running on port 2000. Uh, it's going to use UDP port uh, 10100 standard port. And uh, at this point here, we're defining uh, a router. We're calling it 7200. It can be called anything. Now, because my actual bin file is called uh, deceased7200.bin, I want to adjust that, okay? Uh, we'll also talk about idle PC uh, in another uh, another video here. For now, I've commented that out, okay? And so some people, they find that uh, they'll be using 100% CPU, at least on one core, uh, if they don't set an idle PC. Uh, there is a way to set it, and for some people, it seems to drop their CPU rate down, and for some people, including some of my machines, uh, it's actually made no difference. Um, but uh, So hopefully it works for some of you, though. So we're saying model again down here. Actually, we're declaring the uh, router to be R1. Okay, so in the double braces here, uh, we're calling router R1. We really could call it, uh, you know, R5000. Uh, I don't know, we can call it, uh, I don't know, the Xeon um, 7200 or whatever you want to call it, pretty much. Okay, but that's our model here, 7200, because that's what we called it up here. Okay, console is important to know, because uh, we're saying it's on port 2521. That means to actually get to the console of this router, uh, we just type talent at localhost 2521. And one of the most important things here is going to be how we connect our primary interface, F00. Uh, we're saying it's going to be connected to a TAP interface uh, on our router here, or sorry, on our local host. And that's how we're going to do that. Okay. And just wanted to comment some of this other stuff out for my own guide. So your config should look something like this, right? So if it's good, uh, hopefully you're good to go then. Okay, so now we want to start uh, Dynamips actually, first of all. Let's make another terminal. It doesn't really matter how you do it, but um, maybe just easier to make another terminal. Uh, we'll put it in the background there. So uh, remember, I, I put the Dynamips um, that's H2000, and that's because in our Dynagen uh, conf, we said that, um, that Dynamips is running on port 2000, so we have to match that. Otherwise, when you start Dynagen, it's not going to work, so that wouldn't be good. Okay, so now let's do a Dynagen. Dynagen, read Dynagen.conf. Okay, so it read the config. Now what do we do? Well, we want to start it, and um, we know our, our device is called R1. So we're going to say you start R1. Okay, so now there's no idle PC value. Now what do we do? Well, we want to connect to it, okay? So let's do a telnet, localhost 2521. And we'll see it's booting up here, right? It's reading the iOS image, and it's booting up, which is good. It's what we want.
Okay, we're just waiting. So as we're waiting for it to load, what I want you to think about though is um, how this is going to connect. Uh, there's a few requirements actually. One of the requirements is if you follow the previous blog I made, uh, we're actually using a bridge. So that's the best way to actually get our tap device uh, connected to our network. Because uh, without that, we can't actually really do anything, can we guys? Okay, we're starting with a totally blank config here. Okay, and let's just do enable mode. Okay, we'll do conf t. We're just doing a basic config here. Basically, just want to assign the router uh, an IP. Okay, so we said in our uh, Dynadun config that we're connecting uh, FA00. Okay, so let's configure that. And let's just simply just give it an IP here. I'm going to give it an IP like this. Okay, so the reason for that is actually is very important. If you're going to be bridging, you know, all depending how you're set up here, some people might be set up on a totally host only network. Uh, if you're bridging into your LAN at work or at home, uh, you don't want to mess up um, you know, anyone else, basically. Uh, if you're doing different things on a router, running DHCP. Um, so to avoid conflicts, I just think it's better to use a subnet you know is not being used uh, where you are. So I've just randomly chosen uh, this subnet. Okay, so we're almost done here, actually. Let's do a no shut. Well, let's bring up the port. And now let's see. Now, I was talking a little bit about this as well uh, earlier about our bridge. Okay, notice that uh, I have a bridge here. It's called BR0. Okay, and uh, it doesn't really matter. I have a different submit on this, right? But the subnet that I'm using uh, basically for the routing is going to be the 192.168.5. So I gave this PC a.2. Now, say you're doing maybe a CME lab, a test uh, lab at home. Uh, maybe dot two here is going to be your, your Linux based um, uh, router IP. Okay, well, not the router IP, but this is the, you know, the Linux machine that's running the router. And uh, then maybe you have some Windows host, right? So let's just say in our topology, maybe you had uh, two more Windows machines. Maybe you would call those dot three and dot four. So make sure you don't have any IP conflicts. But anyway, here's what I want to show you guys. Let's see, do we have connectivity to our router? Let's go ahead and ping it. We know we put it up. Oh, it's not working, it's not pinging. So right away, we know that there's something that we have to do. Now, since we have a bridge, there's something we can do. Okay, but anyway, we can see that it's not working. Okay, so we'll use brctl, um, add if br0 tap1. Okay, can we pick it now? And so what I did actually, guys, sorry, I added um, tap1 to br0, right? Because br0 is our bridge. And so technically, shouldn't it just work? Well, let's just take a look here. It's not working. Why not? Well, let's take a look what's on our bridge. BRCTL show. Okay, well, that's odd. A lot of people will be very confused here uh, because we do see that tap one is uh, enslaved by BR0. Okay, it, it's it's part of that bridge. It should just work. Um, let me just type if config. Let's just take a look here. Oh, this is odd. If it were up, shouldn't I see a tap one here? So let's do if config tap one. Doesn't look up to me. Okay, what can we do to get it up? sudo if config tap one up. And now let's see if we can configure our router. We can, we can ping it from here. Okay, now we can ping it. So these are the steps that you need to do uh, each time you start uh, Dynagen to make your router work. Okay, so the few steps you need to be on the host machine here. It has to have the same subnet that the router has been assigned to. Uh, you have to have the, um, uh, the tap one on the um, on the bridge on BR0 and you have to make sure that your tap one is actually up so that the steps you need to follow and this will probably go a long way in helping you to troubleshoot and avoid a lot of problems so just be aware of this each time right to uh, do a BRCTL at if um, BR0 um, uh, tap one right and then um, if config tap one up right and now if I type if config as well you'll see that uh, it, it is here right so it, it's up and running, so hopefully that will save you guys a lot of time. I hope you enjoyed this video, and hopefully it helps somebody out.